Good morning, everybody, and happy Thursday. 41 degrees currently, 5 degrees Celsius. It was 33 when we woke up this morning at the quarter after 7. It's going for 10 o'clock, if not past 10 now, because I've been editing. And actually, sorry, uh, 9.56. Yep, just before 10 o'clock. Um, when I got on Final Cut this morning, an ad came up for Final Cut iPad. So if you have an M chip iPad, you can test out Final Cut for the iPad for free. There's a trial now. That's new. Um, <laughs> all I can say is good luck if you're used to Final Cut on the on the Mac, because it is not convenient. I tried again. Still. The one thing on Google says there's 3D text, there is no 3D text, which is what the date and day number and everything are. The logo is static now because it just made things a little simpler because it took forever to render the 3D text across. But nonetheless, I did try. And the, the other issue is like you can't paste attributes. You have to copy everything and then click on each clip and paste everything individually so you have to do all of your color th things and then you have to do all your audio things separately it's time consuming when you have a big video all right number two but a little man got the little man out come on come on you're gonna walk you need the exercise get off some of that barking that you've been doing all morning i don't know why your harness is cockeyed like that i guess not sure. Ooh, a little brisker out here than I expected it to be. I would have put a jacket on if I'd known it was windy. Thought 41's not too bad. The sun is shining. But it's, uh, yeah, we had quite a bit of rain overnight on my way home last night. It let loose and it poured here for quite a while. So we've gotten some rain lately. I don't know how Mike said it wasn't doing anything by him. So that's about an hour away. A little over. <laughs> isolated showers i guess but like i said everybody was all freaking out about snow and stuff and from what i'm looking at the forecast there's no snow in our forecast at least from what i looked they're saying maybe like a snow shower at some point but it ain't gonna stick not with as warm as it's been during the day so not sure what the high is supposed to be probably low 40 high 40s today it's already up to 41 I don't know if we're doing our Aldi's shopping today for Thanksgiving. I think we are, but neither one of us woke up feeling good this morning. I had a sinus headache. I had a sore throat. That's mostly all cleared up. Sinuses are still a little bit screwy, but sore throat has gone away. So that's good because it's like I wake up and I'm like, oh, crap. Now what am I getting? But so... Yeah, that's, that's our big goal today. I did clean up the bedroom yesterday, my room yesterday, so it looks a lot better. Come on, let's keep walking. So when I got home last night, I was like, oh, I can actually walk in my room. Yay. <laughs> oh, it's just a struggle. And last night, well, Mike wants to do Saturday, so the other the filter i originally ordered wasn't coming till sunday and so i was like so order the other filter he's like yeah and while i did it i did my, i did what i said i wasn't going to do ordered all three batteries and the charger uh the battery charger isn't supposed to be here till sunday the battery is supposed to be here saturday so i'll just have to charge them in the camera at some point i mean i don't even think i'm gonna have time to do it and honestly, Ravens or yeah, Ravensburg isn't that big of a thing, and mostly it's going to be photography. But I have some plans if the water's not too high to actually sit the tripod down in the stream and get some shots. I just wish I had a remote with the Sony. It's it's a wired remote only on that because it's old, so I can't control it even with an app. From what I can tell, I know the RX100. I think I could. I think I had camera control. Come on. Look at this guy. He's like, it's windy out here, man. Come on. Let's go down here. You'll be all right. So. But one of those lenses is going back. So. And I'm just going to be like 
so one of them won't even get opened whatever the one that comes saturday which was the more expensive one will get opened the one that comes sunday will go back as the one that was ordered saturday that comes <laughs> yeah that's cheating but i'm hoping i can get away with that i should be able to just be like uh i i don't know what using what reason i'm gonna put didn't, i'll put didn't come in time or something i don't know Ugh. Sucks that it's going to hopefully it'll be here when I get home in the afternoon. That's the biggest problem. And then this is the other problem right here that he comes to me that we can get right out of here because daylight is going to be waning already at that point. Because if I get off at one o'clock, get home by 130 or 115, something like that, I'm going to be pushing myself out of here. <clears throat> um, and then get, you know get on the get on the road up the up the way it's about a half hour away so 2 to 15 we're looking at like maybe two hours of daylight total which is not much so that's game plan what you think boy what you think he's like it's cold out here that's what i think dad come on come on Oh, my nose. Hold on. Yeah, I'm going to have to start getting a handkerchief just for uh, walks with the dogs in this weather. So I'm not sniffling all the whole day long. I think that's what's messing my sinuses up too. That and the other night, whatever day it was, I was eating something and it got lodged in my sinuses. It is weird. I've, it's not comfortable. I still feel a little bit of a, I don't know. I, it's just I don't know how you how you describe that that feeling but like there's something in there but a lot of stuff has come out so Ugh. fun times work is not helping <laughs> our noses run constantly in that building and honestly I think you know when you're working you don't realize how cold customers are complaining all the time how cold it is in the store but when you're doing freight and working and stuff you don't notice it near as much until you go to break and come back and then you're like damn it's cold in here <laughs> but i had to sweep the freezer last night because nobody else knows how to do it it's getting a little frustrating uh so i got that cleaned out and uh it looks better it, i need to take the dyson with me i feel like on the next closing shift and uh i might even take the spare battery and i'm going to vacuum the damn thing out I'm going to vacuum the dirt out of it for once and for all because it is that bad. It just frustrates me because it shouldn't look like that. Taking the lead boo. Oh, I think the remote twisted that time. Oh yeah, so we're going to have plenty of batteries for this bad boy going in the future. I figured this way, since Mike and Tim both have Action 4s, having grand total with us 10 batteries none of us should ever have a battery problem plus the fact that my case will charge batteries so if anybody needs to switch out we can just pop them in there let them charge while we're using another battery it's overkill but you know this is the main camera this is what we're using and uh it's replaced the pocket it really has and honestly at this point i think if pocket 4 did come out a i wouldn't be able to afford it B, I don't, I don't know. It was cool, but the gimbal has seemingly slowed down on me and I struggle with it. Now there's times that it's, it might be more convenient, but this thing does a really good job with driving videos now, the stabilization tricks. I don't know, I'm just, a, the pocket is a little easier to pocket, but this does too. I just have this handle set up and these jeans are a little, pockets are a little tighter, a little harder to get out, but works for me. All right. I want to see, like I said, tighter pockets. I wonder if this thing won't spin as easy. It's kind of, it's hard to get it lined up though, to do like walking footage. This might not even make the video if it's really bad. I just want to do a little test though. Yeah, it's turning. It's still turning. 
Probably too many things on the handle. <sighs> Trying to get in the right spot, but as my leg walks, it, it turns it. <laughs> Probably get most of my jacket at this angle. Alrighty, time for the slow one. Because Mateo and I did a pretty good time. Yesterday, her and I walk was almost 45 minutes long because of this. Of course, eh, I give her credit. She sniffed and peed, so at least she did something. <laughs> Mr. Moon is still out. Don't see him at night anymore, but he's out during the day now. I know it's going to be shaky, but I'll put it in post. And this is 25 feet behind. She knows the limit, too, because when I put her on the shorter leash, she gets very confused that she can only go, like, eight feet away. She's like, I can go further than that normally. What the hell's going on? Kind of wondering if she's going to pull over here. And she already pedaled. What are you doing back there? Oh, you're going to go to the other side. Hmm. <laughs> We're not getting very far very fast, and the weather is kind of flipping on me here. Tails and I's walk was nice and sunny, and the clouds are rolling in, and it got chillier again. <laughs> Is the snow coming, Priya? Is the big bad snowstorm coming? You don't like the muddy grass, do you? I did break the leaves in the backyard. I got to get them, open the fence, and get them out today. Unfortunately, I found a Mateo landmine while I was doing it, so my one pair of shoes got sidelined until I can clean them. But I pulled out the Nikes again because my Columbias are pretty much totaled. The uh, right outside of both heels is gone and that twists my ankle. We still are holding up after like three years. But I added two pa another pair of insoles in them. Plus they do have the zoom technology in them. So they're actually quite comfortable now. They fit me better. Did you? I don't think you did. That's a leaf. She's actually taking the lead here. <coughs> Excuse me. Something got in my throat when I went to talk. I love when that happens. Come on. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Come on. Hurry up. There you go. She's like, hi, Dad. What are we doing? What are we doing? Huh? Come on. Let's get out of the road. Come on. Come on. Car coming. Car coming. All right. Well, one more stupid thing ordered. Um, Mike and I were having conversations like when we're going to do this. I don't really want to be standing in the in the water to take these photos. I did find a remote shutter that has a transmitter that gives you the ability to be like not near the camera. The point of hooking a freaking control and having it on the tripod still doesn't reduce shake. <laughs> so this plugs in and we'll hook on the cold shoe, hot shoe, cold shoe, multi-port, whatever that is. It allows me to shoot. Now, Sony has one. The one I got is not by Sony. It's J JJC. Um, looks a little bit different, but it's the same model number. Because there's three different versions. Two of them have to be plugged in directly. This one has like a Bluetooth receiver. So, give it a shot. I mean, if it doesn't work... It'll go back, but I think it like moon photos because it gives you the ability to zoom, gives you the ability to record video and shoot um, photos. So the RX10 100 RX10 Mark IV is going to be a full fledged camera for doing things here coming up. I mean, when I'm doing like the moon shots and stuff, that'll definitely be helpful. I think. <sighs> Gotta stop. Gotta stop. And the funny thing is, I think the uh, RX100 Mark VII still requires a plugged in. I don't think it had... Did that work with Bluetooth? Yeah, it did, because I used the Bluetooth remote. Unfortunately, the Bluetooth remote, I don't think, would sync to that. Wouldn't really matter. Although, then it'd be a handle and you'd be able to make it log, but it doesn't have a quarter 20 for mounting anything. All right, well, that might be getting canceled, because according to... The Sony page, the app I downloaded to transfer images, is also supposed to work for controlling the camera. So we're going to be looking into that and see how that works because I thought it should. I know it used to on the HX series and uh, 
it gives you the ability to zoom and snap photos as well. So I'm going to look into that. And if that's the case, I'm just going to cancel that remote because that way I can view what I'm doing, know if my ankle's right. Oh, well, now the sun has come back out as we finish up our walk, freeze our butts off most of it. We're almost back. All right, what am I getting into next? Well, I do have to take down all the Halloween stuff yet. I don't know if I want to put Christmas out yet or just strip it and leave it go for now. Good afternoon, everybody. All right, 301. Dogs and I are getting out bank run and a quick windy, chilly, potentially drizzly or and or snowy. They have changed the forecast. So my brother wasn't wrong. One to three inches between 4 p.m. tonight and 4 p.m. tomorrow. <laughs> but got all the Halloween down, got all the Christmas up. I'll show you when it gets dark outside. Um, got the back patio grass, open up all the gates, most of it, a lot of it, and got all the leaves blown out of it and picked up five bags of Mateo's dookies. So it's five handfuls, basically. Whatever I could hold in my hand before I change bags. Really, plenty of little shrubs, too. Cute. Oh, so. But Aldi's run was, uh, I think, pretty successful. We went a little over the gift cards we got for Christmas by, like, $27. I think it was, like, $34. Thirty-four dollars, something, something like that. It was, I don't know. But we are uh, ready for Thanksgiving feast now. Got ourselves like almost a seventeen-pound bird, which is enormous for us. Got to get the roaster out next Thursday. <gasps> I'm excited for that. That'll be fun. We haven't, we haven't done Thanksgiving in a few years because we weren't eating meat. So at least not turkey dinner. We've always had good food, don't get me wrong, just did veg. Potatoes, sweet potatoes, you know, broccoli, all that good stuff. But this year we're going to do dinner game. You ain't going to be in there for a few hours. Um, and I did, since I last talked to you, uh, I did confirm that the image app for the Sony actually does control the camera if you put it on control camera with phone. <laughs> so cancel the remote I can zoom I can change shutter I can change the I, I basically can do everything I need to do with it the only thing I don't have the ability to do is actually change the angle of the camera on the tripod but I am looking into that as well because I'm pretty sure there's a sky tracker head um, there's a couple different variants ranging anywhere from just under $100 to, oh, $230. My thinking is tracking the moon, but to be able to actually have a remote that, you know, I can watch the screen and use the remote and fine tune a shot where I'm not necessarily where the camera is. It might be interesting. I don't know. That's, since I did cancel one remote, a remote control pan tilt head would be pretty cool so Mike didn't even think of that I sent him the link he's like okay now I gotta admit that's that's a pretty cool idea because <laughs> sometimes with the, with the tripod getting the fine tuning and if you had something that's motorized it's just going to go do, 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 do incremental steps but if it can actually follow the moon that'd be a cool thing for an overnight if you can get settings right Alrighty, we are at the park and yeah, we got a piddle going on. I figured she had to because she wouldn't go at home. That little man did and he's still doing it anyway because he's got a marked territory. Come on, Pri. Come on, big girl. It is, uh, there was some drizzle on the windshield the way over, but so far, not doing anything. I'm kind of hoping we see some snowflakes, honestly. I think that'd be cool. Got two big, looks like collies coming. Come on, let's get over and let them by. Hello. Aw. Bassett. 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 Yep. Hi, babies. Oh, you're pretty. <laughs> I'm not a 
old guy. He's a miniature pincher. Oh, okay. You know, I had a, um, what was the recipe for Combination miniature yeah, it's very common. Yeah. yeah. Yep. He's full blood min pin, but he's got the merle coat. Yeah. So, but he's a chunky little boy. <laughs> yeah, they get that well. yeah. Only supposed to be 17 pounds up too, and he's 24. Oh well, you know when I got little dog from the SPCA, it was almost. Are they okay to say? Mateo. Hello? It's okay, Priya. Priya. Nosy. Priya, I got you, baby. It's okay. I'm it's okay. No, 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 no. You don't have to save sister. Right. <laughs> you don't have to save sister. Now she's going to sniff butts. Yeah, well, you know. They're little girls, Mateo. Be nice. Be nice. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Not <laughs> <laughs> have a good day. You do. Yeah, you protect sister. You protect sister. Yes, you do. And that is one feature of the being able to hang the camera down because I'm not holding it up at them. I just kind of have it dangling like it's not even working and it was recording. <laughs> I'll probably cut the audio out. We were just having a quick little conversation and she had miniature pincher um, chihuahua, which is a very common mix. Very common mix. So to the best of our knowledge, Mateo is full blooded. He's just on the big side because mommy was probably well overbred. Oh, well, we're gonna we're gonna pee and poop at the same time. That ain't gonna work there, bud. I can't say enough about these hand warmers, except for the fact this morning that they did die on me. So, like Tim said, every time he uses them, he charges them. I don't like to do that, even though it's a lithium-ion battery. They're not supposed to have degradation on them, but I'm uh, gonna have to put them back on the charger when we get home because they were not full. But I have like. I think I'm gonna need them for this walk. My left hand is warmed up right now because it was holding one for a while where I was holding Mateo's dookie bag. So I'm trying to, I put the shoes back on that I stepped in his crap in the backyard so I can try to hopefully knock it off of him. And a nice walk, plus they have all my insoles in them. Literally I'm running two pairs of insoles in these shoes. So it was a struggle getting the right one in over top it kept folding but I finally got it so oh now I put my hat over my ears because I'm having such sinus issues figured let's not have wind blowing in my ears that eh, probably just will make me sick it feels like I'm getting sick anyway nose has been running all day at all these at McDonald's because tr we treated ourselves to I got my free quarter pounder and then uh, got her the the chicken Big Mac, I don't know if any of you have tried that. It's not bad. It's a pretty decent sandwich. And honestly, I don't think it's overly, pr I, 559 I think it was, something like that. Which I don't think it's overpriced really for the size of chicken you get on there. It's a pretty decent sized sandwich. Can't do a whole lot of customization to it though. So, which is fine. But I did basically make my quarter pounder a quarter pounder deluxe with lettuce, tomato, whatever else they offered for it so hey boo yummy hit the spot and we got out the chicken tenders that we had we were like what do we want to do for dinner and i was going to cook the maui burgers and the uh the mahi burgers and shrimp burgers on the grill in the snow then she found the chicken tenders and she's like i don't know it just isn't what i'm thinking so we're gonna do that instead so, sounds good we have salad, and I don't know what else we're having. I'm sure we'll have a vegetable, or oh, she said roasted potatoes. So, guys, I'm just going to keep on keeping on here because, uh, you know, weather is approaching and it's almost four o'clock. So, we got to keep moving because daylight will go away. <laughs> That's one of the this is the handy part with the action cameras. My biggest problem with them prior was quality, just didn't wasn't enough for me. But uh, I'm not going to say that no more. Um, I'm very happy with this one, obviously. So, then there's a walk here in the nice... I don't really feel this breeze the flags are getting. Maybe because I have so much covering on. But on my face, I don't even know. I do have the beard. And Terry says to me, she goes, you need to do something with that beard. I said, no shave November. He's got another, what, nine days left? I might just trim it up a little bit. 
but that's about it because honestly working in the freezer this beard is very helpful i need to find my under armor masks though so when i'm doing freezer i can cover my nose because that's about the only thing left to me to get cold and you see this tree is still holding on for dear life with his leaves well those yellow ones on this side the other side is almost pretty bare <laughs> still some little bit of green ones there this one here, the colorful ones have left, but the green ones are still there. We get a snow, that'll probably be the end of them. Still think these trees are goofy looking. Crazy how close I can get to it. I'm standing almost underneath this tree right now and still getting it in frame. One hand is much warmer than another. I don't understand it because my left hand's actually been out of my pocket more, but it feels like the this one doesn't feel as warm to my right hand as the other one feels to the left hand. It's kind of weird. I'm not sure which one I had worse carpal tunnel in back in the day at Jersey Shore Steel when I was at Fabrication Division. Because I actually went and got tested and everything for it. That's, that's a blast. If anybody had that test done where they shock you for 20 minutes and then poke needles in you for another 20 minutes. It's hilarious because the doctor, I think it was my right one, he went into like my palm and my fingers were just sitting there going like this. He goes, quit moving your fingers. I said, I'm not doing that. He goes, oh shit. <laughs> Pulls the needle out. Oh, fun times. It was funny because the, the nurse that did the first test actually was the mother of a student I went to school with. I said, I went to Southside. She told me her name. I was like, yeah, I went to school with her. I remember her. She, I think, was a gray below me or something, but still. For some reason, I was familiar with her. Huh, I missed this tree last time. That one still has leaves on it. They're not the prettiest of leaves. It still has some. And that one back there, they're more of a orangish-brown color. Quite a few of them are holding on. A little concerned, because we have a lab coming from the other side. Just got to lock them down and avoid. Oh, yeah. This is what I'm saying, guys. I mean, this is some. This is simple. This is not a, a difficult path in any way. It's not rough terrain, so much easier to, keep, you know, be focusing on multiple things at once. Where we were the last couple weekends with Tim and Mike, you've got rocks and roots and cliffs, and a dog that likes to hang over cliffs. So. It's a little more challenging to try to. What are, what are you what are you sniffing? What are you what are you what are you down there sniffing? What are we sniffing, huh? What are we sniffing? Get right in on the action here. Anything good? Anything good? We got both of them going now. Got both of you going now. Tim don't care. Camera's in his face. Oh oh oh! We don't want to see that. We don't want to see that up close. Ah, it's kind of a pineish tree. It's one of those ones that was like the down further that lost all its needles. Okay. Lighting is not the greatest right now to get the coloring. It was funny because after we were here the other day, the uh, family of this gentleman was actually at the store when we stopped. All right, the wind has found us. Now it's blowing at us. Ah, maybe it was blowing behind me. Definitely didn't feel it through this hoodie. In this section, it's in my face, and it will be the whole way back, basically. That's okay. Alrighty. Now we're a little over halfway done with this, this part of the walk. I don't know if we're going to do the other part or not. Temperature has dropped. Um, went on the way over. It was 40. Let's take a look. I open tomorrow. I don't want the cameras. Ugh. 40 degrees, 4 degrees Celsius. Yeah. Drizzle and wind. I'm saying the wind, but it's supposed to be drizzling with uh, snow coming. What time is it? 3.41. In the next 20 minutes or so, we could start seeing snow. So I think we might do the other part of the lap. I really would like to get a walk in the snow. We haven't done that in a long time. When I want it to do it, it won't. So don't bank on it but I can be hopeful can't I of course after I told my brother my real brother that 
we ain't getting snow, we're just getting rain. And I said something to Terry, and she's like, oh my god, they changed the weather. <laughs> I'm going to actually switch these. I want to see if this one feels hotter to this hand. Yeah, I must not have as much sensation in this in this hand. No, this one's nowhere near as warm. This one is nowhere near as warm as the other one. Huh, that's not good. I don't know if that's covered under my Amazon protection plan or not. <sighs> Are we going, guys? This section. Oh, I thought she saw the squirrel crossing. Apparently she didn't. I'm going toward the bright yellow tree. And then I saw the squirrel. She was chasing squirrels earlier. I could get a camera out of my pocket quick enough. <sighs> Another one holding on for dear life. Ooh, I'm starting to feel some spritzel on my eyelashes. I don't see any white stuff yet. Very colorful for the time of year. Thoroughly enjoy it. Well, this is a thick pile of leaves I just walked into. Gee whiz. What do you guys think? It like I'm cold. We're almost done. <laughs> oh, man. I wasn't gonna, originally I only planned on doing one part of the park, but I'm like, ah, we're here. Like I said earlier though, the longer we're out, the higher probability of seeing maybe some snowfall. I'm not overly in, uh, hopeful for it. I don't know what the right word is. I just don't think it's going to hit by, by the time we're out still. It's never on time. I mean, it could start at 4 o'clock, but the likelihood is probably going to start at 7. <laughs> it's got a couple yellow leaves left on it. More down here than up top. Pretty, though. I personally like the red and the orange, but the yellow looks nice when it's the only thing left. This one's actually green. Kind of crazy. Some trees hold on longer than others. Yeah, does that leaf smell good? Come on. Brother's ready. I should put your jacket on you, buddy. Figured you'd be cold. I've never really noticed this being here before. I think it's kind of a new thing. Maybe it's not, but uh, wow. No more leaving toys or water bowls out. You have to bring your own. No hand sanitizer. Well, that's kind of stupid on their part, in my opinion. I think it should be something that they actually have dispensers near the, especially the poop stations. Wouldn't be that expensive for them to do. I'm going to admit I did not know that that was run by a volunteer company, or volunteers, and not the park itself. No. I mean, not that I like leave messes or anything like that, but the rest of the park is, I'm thinking, city owned. And we got a little dog coming. How you doing? Oh, Priya, leave him alone. Come on, I'm gonna pop you out for a walk just like you. All right, more and more I'm feeling moisture out of the sky. I just got hit in the temple as I said it. It feels like drizzle. I don't feel like snow. I don't see anything. I'm getting hit in the face now. Uh, now the lip. <laughs> Earlier it was just like it, it was like a light mist. Now it's more of a drop, but it's like here and there. It's nothing serious like on the way home last night or after when the parking lot flooded. Uh, all right. <clears throat> Not gonna say good night yet. I was going to, but then I'm like, oh nope, gotta show you the Christmas lights. So. We're going to be a, just a teeny bit more, but uh, we're going to pack up here from the park, get ourselves home for dinner. Probably have a little bit of a chance in between there, but uh, start getting the video around probably and then just film the lights once I, once it gets dark. Alrighty. These people are definitely decorated. Holy buckets. We got a lot of stuff. I wonder if they bought all the stuff from the people down the street here that got so much crap for all the things they put out. Alrighty, everybody. Well, there it is. Lit up at night. Uh, Terry said we do have more stuff that's going to be coming out with the Christmas stuff that we might be able to put out here, but for now, it's it's a start. We got the inflatable basset. 
the three of five sets of lights that actually worked, which is enough. So, two twinkle, one doesn't. That's fine. Those are actually little globe lights. I don't even know where the hell they came from. I have more somewhere upstairs from Target. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, thumb up, and comment. And I will see you in the morning as always. Have a good night. Stay safe. Thank <laughs> you.